morning. It's clear to all of us that with the intensity of our drought, our fire danger is off the charts. And that's a key reason why we need to adhere to the rules that no one use fireworks on the 4th of July. Uh, all fireworks in the city are illegal for personal use. And only professional and permitted fireworks shows are the places where Angelinos should go uh, to celebrate the 4th of July with a fireworks display. Um, they're also, of course, very dangerous. They're dangerous to everybody who can use them. We know that 9,100 people were injured last year due to fireworks, injuries that cause da damage to their eyes or their feet or their fingers. We know that in 2020, a fireworks display that was illegal caused a Northridge apartment building to burn to the ground. And of course, because of our drought, any fire that starts is going to spread very quickly. Fireworks, of course, also increase pollution. Now, fireworks are dangerous for people and for others whom we care about. They're particularly problematic for kids on the autism spectrum, for combat veterans who are suffering from post-traumatic stress syndrome. They're really uh, triggering for survivors of gun violence. And of course, our pets are very afraid of fireworks. The 4th of July is the day once a year when we have the most pets who run away from their homes. And we know LAPD can't always respond in a timely way to a fireworks call. There are so many very serious and violent incidents erupting in our city right now. And so as a result, we're going to have to make an effort not only not to use fireworks ourselves, but also to educate our family members and our neighbors and our friends. Our office is again taking steps that we hope will prevent a lot of the damage I'm discussing today. Um, again, we've issued cease and desist letters to online platforms that historically have posted advertisement for fireworks for sale in the city of Los Angeles. I'm talking about Meta, who of course owns Facebook and Craigslist and OfferUp and Five Miles. And in those cease and desist letters, we're demanding that they never post and if they find them, take down any advertisements for fireworks directed to people here in the city of Los Angeles. And that's beginning to show real progress. Meta has been working with us in a very cooperative way, not only taking down ads that we identify, but also identifying ads for, of their own. Um, and taking them down. Also, Craigslist and Five Mile and OfferUp are, are cooperating similarly with our office in this effort to assure that those ads not be seen here in Los Angeles and not acted on. And anecdotally, our investigators are telling us that they're seeing fewer ads than they've seen previously. We hope that this tamps down the use of illegal fireworks in our city. But we're going beyond those steps. Our neighborhood prosecutors are working in neighborhoods throughout the city of Los Angeles in close collaboration with city council offices, the fire department, and uh, My Safe LA. And we're working to educate members of the community and to apprise those and locations where previous issues have arisen that they ought not use fireworks now. We're also participating in the fireworks buyback program that Councilmember Monica uh, Rodriguez has been pursuing in the Valley. On July 2nd, there will be a fireworks buyback. Last year, more than a quarter ton of fireworks were turned in. And again, they're turned in and there's no consequence for turning those fireworks in, no penalties at all. Now, I wanna note for our viewers and our readers and listeners that if they are cognizant of illegal fireworks, they can report them by calling 877-275-5273. That's 877-275-5273. So just to review for a moment, the dangers of fireworks are palpable. They not only, especially in a dry fire season, could cause devastating harm here, but they're also the source of injuries to our friends and loved ones when they're misused. They also cause great stress to kids with autism and veterans and gun violence survivors. They also make our pets very, very frightened the day when most pets 
run, more pets run away than any other day. We're working hard. We're trying to prevent in the first place the illegal use of fireworks, not only by interacting with our online partners, but also with members of the community. And I want to say to everybody, of course, who doesn't enjoy a great fireworks show on the 4th of July? There are so many opportunities to visit permitted and lawful fireworks displays, most of which are free of charge throughout the city of Los Angeles. And you can go to our website at lacityattorney.org uh, backslash fireworks. We have a list of those permitted lawful fireworks shows that you and your family can enjoy safely, securely, and most importantly, in a way that assures that you're not jeopardizing the lives or the materials of your friends and your loved ones. Let me say a few words in Spanish, and I'm happy to take some questions. Con la llegada del 4 de julio, quiero recordarles a mis compañeros angelinos que todos los fuegos artificiales, todos los fuegos artificiales, son ilegales en la ciudad de Los Ángeles por buenas razones. En primer lugar, son peligrosos. Los fuegos artificiales también pueden dañar a las personas que nos importan. Niños con trastornos de espectro autista. Veteranos que sufren de TEPT, trastorno de estrés post-traumático. Sobrevivientes de violencia armada. Y las mascotas tienen mucho miedo de los fuegos artificiales. No es un secreto que es muy difícil para el LAPD responder a las llamadas de servicio para fuegos artificiales, especialmente cuando están priorizando delitos graves y violentos. Por eso, es tan importante que no uses fuegos artificiales y por favor, Ayúdanos a educar a tu familia, amigos y vecinos para que tampoco los usen. Por supuesto, ¿a quién no le gusta un gran espectáculo de fuegos artificiales? Especialmente en el 4 de julio. Déjalo en manos de los expertos y disfruta de uno de los espectáculos de fuegos artificiales permitidos. Visite nuestro sitio web para encontrar un espectáculo de fuegos artificiales cerca de usted. That's at lacityattorney.org barra invertida fuegos artificiales. Gracias. Okay, any questions? Has there been an increase in illegal fireworks over the years? There's been a meaningful increase in incidents in our city of the use of illegal fireworks. And we are trying to flatten that curve. And I mentioned earlier that one of the key ways to do that is to suppress the use of illegal fireworks in the first place by making them less available. And that's one reason that we've adopted this approach of pursuing these cease and desist letters to the online platforms that advertise illegal fireworks here. And I've developed this partnership now for a couple of years in a row. And as I said, our investigators have, as an anecdotal matter, identified fewer ads than previously were up. We're hoping that will correlate to less demand and less use of illegal fireworks. It's a big issue, though, and we are, there, there's no single step that we're going to take that's going to completely eliminate the use of these illegal fireworks. But our partnerships that I've discussed earlier are going to be a big help. If a fire is the start or you know, some sort of disaster happens because of illegal fireworks purchased on one you know, gross social marketplace layout, um, is there legal action that the city's eye towards that social marketplace? Well, we haven't reached that step yet. Um, uh, but there could be the possibility of some of, of pursuing, for example, and if an individual is tied to the starting of a fire based on his or her activity, uh, that person faces grave consequences, both in terms of their liberty and financially, in terms of penalties and so on. Um, there hasn't been a case yet that I'm aware of where an online platform has been pursued in that situation. Um, we're keeping all our options open, however, and at the moment I want to emphasize those platforms are cooperating with us. 
Um, and again, this is a, I'm not aware of any other jurisdiction in the nation that has aggressively worked with online platforms this way. I hope it becomes a model for other jurisdictions confronting legal fireworks throughout the country. Uh, it's possible in Spanish. What did the Consumer Protection Unit recently? I, I didn't understand. The, the Consumer Protection Unit recently uh, take a one guy with a free charge. See, um, we have, I'll have to answer in English, I'm sorry, okay. So yes, so we had one case um, in April of this year where we prosecuted an individual uh, for illegal fireworks and there are gonna be other such instances that we anticipate where there'll be a prosecution if the person can be apprehended. And I wanna underscore what that prosecution displays is the fact that if someone is engaged in using or selling illegal fireworks, that that person could face severe consequences. Where we have the, the fireworks? I can't hear you. Where we have the, the, the fireworks? The house or where? You know, I, I don't know the answer. I'll have to come back to you on that. Okay. All right, everybody. Thank you very much.